Dude, this movie is crazy. And the trailer only scratches the surface. Barbarian, directed by Zach Kreger, and is currently in theaters. Let's talk about it. Yeah, man, this movie had no business being as good as it was. Originally, I was going to skip this one because the trailer did nothing for me. Girl stays in the Airbnb with a good-looking dude, and shit goes down. Luckily, another fellow horror fan that I know told me to watch it because it's actually really good. I trust her judgment and said, all right, I'm in. Boy, am I glad I watched it too. Man, this movie this movie has layers. First, you have two people that, that are double booked. Uh, this place, this Airbnb, right? Both of them, not sure what the hell's going on. And you have Bill Skarsgård playing the dude who's already at the house. And we all know he was Pennywise, right? <laughs> and that movie, It. So you really, I mean, so can you really trust this dude? Is he really who he says he is? And honestly, I think that's good casting because of his track record in horror flicks. So I like that. <laughs> so it doesn't automatically doesn't pay him as a good guy. So when you're watching the trailer, you're just like, eh, and the movie as well. But also there's Justin Long. This dude has had it bad in horror movies, all right? He dies in Jeepers Creepers, right? Loses his girlfriend and Drag Me to Hell and gets turned into a walrus in Tusk. I don't want to give away too much from this actual movie, Barbarian, because as I said earlier, there are layers to this story, all right? A movie that I can't compare it to, though, is probably something like Martyrs. I'm not saying it's exactly what Martyrs is, though, but what I mean is things are deeper than what's on the surface is basically what I'm trying to tell you. Now, have you seen Martyrs? You'll know exactly what I mean then, dude. <laughs> Plus, shit gets strange as hell, though. I mean, I'm talking really strange where you're kind of like, what the fuck? I won't, like I said, I can't get any deeper. I keep saying that, though, because I don't want to get into spoiler territory. But, ah, uh, dude, there's just some things I enjoyed in this one. It's just the whole setup in the first act, dude. It's just, oh, so good. Mwah, the chef's kiss. You have this chick who has no idea who this dude is in her Airbnb, right? It's a rainy night. Nowhere else to go. Because she trusts... Can she trust staying overnight with this dude? Is he trustworthy? The usual tropes occur, dude, which is so good in this one because you're watching this and you're saying, no, don't stay, dumbass. Then she stays. You're like, okay, fine. If you're going to stay, don't drink anything he gives you. Then she drinks something. You're like, shit. Okay. Well, don't try and be his friend. <laughs> Damn woman. Be sure to lock your door before you go to bed. It's this, it's, this is total crowd participation we do, where you're just yelling at the screen constantly, dude, after watching all these crazy tropes go through, dude. It's so good-ass. And once the shit hits the fan, boy, are you in for a ride. It's not what you're expecting either, dude, which makes it even better. Definitely a creative story. Get your, get, you got your blood and violence. Really tense scenes, dude. Also some really cool uh, camera usage as well. There's some running scenes that have, like, shaky camera work. But not to the point where you can't understand what's going on, though. But it looks really good, though. I just look, The style looked really awesome. And also, you have some shots where I think the camera may have been attached to the actor's chest or whatever, something like that, during running scenes. And that's pretty cool as well. I like this one a lot, dude. Um, I say you should go out your way and watch this one. It's in theaters right now. It has a great build-up to some craziness in the middle to the end of the movie, man. Great pace and a really wild backstory to everything as well dude it just when you see the backstory you're just like what <laughs> the backstory is something else but anyhow yeah definitely check it out but that's all for today stay nasty my friends be sure to slice through the like button to get to the subscribe one because on the don't split up channel hell it's never been so cool all right i gotta go set up my airbnb now bye bye I'll see you soon.